What does the word Judah actually mean? And today we're going to talk about the authentic Hebrew meaning of the word Judah. But what does that name Judah actually mean? In the original Hebrew, Yehuda comes from the word that means to praise, Hodaya. And you can see that perfectly illustrated in the book of Genesis, chapter 29, when the matriarch Leah gives birth to a son and says, I will praise the Lord, Ode, therefore I will name my son Yehuda, Judah. You only can understand that fascinating wordplay when you read the Bible in the original Hebrew. Reading in the original Hebrew, as he said, various terms denote praise, such as halalu, barak, tehila, zamar, toda, and shabak. So where did they get the word Judah from? On this Jewish website, they said, there's another word in Hebrew that relates to praise, even though it is rarely used, yada, derived from the Hebrew word hand, which describes moments of worship when God is praised with raising of hands. Like, seriously? In historical records, William Tyndale was burned at the stake for translating the Bible into English. According to Tyndale, the church forbids reading the Bible to control and restrict the teachings and to enhance their own power and importance. And as a result of that, they tried to hide the original language from the original people, thus sharing the original words amongst their own languages. But I'm not going into this. So let's see what Judah means. In Genesis 29 to 35, Leah had the fourth child and said, Now I will praise the Lord. So she named him Judah. The Hebrew alphabets for Judah are Yod, He, Wa, Dalit, and He, while Ju, pronounced as Yehudi, are Yod, He, Wa, Dalit, and Yod. Looking at these words in Yoruba, it becomes Yin, Wa, Di, Ayo, and this means our praise turned into joy. If you've seen my previous translations, you would realize that the Yoruba interpretation provides a deeper understanding of the biblical names. Yehuda or Yehudi in Yoruba is actually Iyinwa Diayo, which means our praise is turned into joy. Speaking of the name Ayo, transliterated as Ya in the Bible, can have other interpretations in Yoruba depending on the context and alphabets that may come in. But contrary to popular belief, it doesn't mean God. For instance, in Luke 1.13, Gabriel the angel said unto him, Fear not Asake Re Ayo, thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son, and you shalt call his name John, and you shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. So the reason behind his name is joy and gladness. Hebrew alphabets are Yod Wa. Chet, Nun, and Nun, which in Yoruba translates to Ayo wa kun inu, signifying immense joy and exceeding happiness. Once again, the Yoruba interpretation reveals a deeper meaning of biblical names. Additionally, the Yoruba translation, Yoa Hosha wa, also known as Yehoshua, is our God, according to the angel Gabriel, and the Yoruba people are the original Hebrews of the Bible. Are you a proud Jew? Yeah. Of course. Why? I love Hashem. Why do you love Hashem? He keeps me safe and protected. Okay, right now in the world, there's a lot of scary things going on, right? And people might be scared. A lot of Jews are scared. Tell them why they shouldn't. Why, why shouldn't they be scared? Hashem is watching over us and He promised us the land and we love Him. He'll keep us safe. He'll always have a rack. He'll keep us safe. watching over us. And we've been around for how long? How long has the Jewish people been around for? A long Forever. time. Forever. Forever. Always. 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 Yeah. And we've always had enemies, right? Yeah, always. And where are they now? We They're all gone. gone. They're They're all gone. gone. <laughs> the word Asha is also a Yoruba word translated as Amen, contrary to the misconception of an Egyptian origin. In Revelation 3.14, Jesus declared himself as the Ashe, wrongly pronounced as Hashem, which is the name given by God to Moses. In an upcoming video, I'll reveal the popular name of God, believed to be Yahweh or Jehovah, 
Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, make no mistake, Jesus is God. Thank you for your support, and please, stay tuned for my next video.